I'm Sophie Lonsinger, a certified massage therapist, and today I'm going to show you a quick, easy way on how to use the tools of the fascia blaster for cellulite. Before you begin this, you're going to make sure that your skin is properly heated inside and outside. So you're going to want to do some type of cardio, get the blood flowing, make sure the inside tissue is hot and warm, and also something external. So I just got home from the gym. I feel nice, heated and I jumped in the shower and kind of just ran hot water around my legs because that's the area we're focusing on today. So once you're warm and ready to go, the next thing we're gonna do is put oil all over the areas you're going to be using the fascia blaster. Today, I'm just focusing on my legs. It's recommended that if you're doing one side of the leg, you get the other side. So I'm gonna show you which tools were most effective for me and what I ended up using the most. So these are my two favorites. Um, if you're only going to be buying two, I would just get these two. The larger ones are great because you will get tired. You're going to be doing a lot of back and forth motions. And if you're not used to that, you'll get tired. I'm a massage therapist. I'm used to it. So I did not use the big ones as much. The little ones I love. This little tiny one's my favorite. It's for the face, but I felt this was the best for breaking up. So when you're first starting out, I definitely would not go deep you are gonna be thinking about this like you're brushing your hair and it's full of tangles. You're not gonna just rip through your hair. This is a wider brush. I'm gonna use this just to bring some circulation to the area, get it warm, um, and then we'll go in with the smaller one. If it's your first time doing this, blasting, you, uh, you wanna use lighter strokes, and go a little bit faster. And make sure you have plenty of oil. It should be really easy to glide. This is not my first time, so I can go a little bit deeper. So halfway through, I like to add more oil. It's really important to set an intention. If your intention is to break fascia up, help with inflammation, um, purely cellulite, just think about it while you're massaging it in. So now I'm gonna move to another tool I really like. This one is great for the back of the legs. When I'm doing the back of the legs, I really just go up to the line of the glutes. When you get to right under the glutes, you can kind of spend some time in that area. I noticed that this added on with my workouts has really helped lift. I have a little pocket right under this area. It's like almost all the way gone. So that's just the fascia that was holding it there pretty much. So once you are completely heated, you feel like you got a really good blast around the entire leg. Just do a few more strokes to finish off. Like I said, I like the tinier a lot more than the big if you wanna get good results. I like to end it with some love. Um, you can take this side of the blaster because it's really smooth and kind of just stroke up, just like flush out the area. So that's how I utilize the fascia blaster for cellulite. There are many other tools out there. I'm not claiming this is the best one. I just truly believe that it works. So if you want to get re good results, you have to commit to a healthier lifestyle, lower your sugar workout. But I did get to another level with the fascia blaster. Um, if you are bruising, take a break. You do not want to damage your tissue. So just, if you're gonna use it, do it with love and respect your body and good luck. <laughs> 